Hi, hello everyone and welcome in a new video. In this video number 31, I want to introduce you what is, uh, the, uh, what is GatherFax and the setup module. If you want to, you can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. If you want to find some documentation about uh, the setup module or gather facts, you can uh, find uh, two pages. Uh, one page is about a setup module. Now, this is a, an older uh, link, but you can find a new link. And uh, this link about uh, the facts. What is uh, gather facts? This is a very, very useful and very, very important uh, term and uh, variables in the Ansible because gather facts are only uh, variables. Um, gather facts um, will be collected when you run a playbook, when you run Ansible on the target server you get and you collect many information about this target server. Um, you can find uh, many uh, document, uh, many informa information about the target server, L for example, like um, network interfaces, uh, devices, um, or uh, operating system version of your uh, operating system, for example. Uh, many elements about uh, uh, hardware, um, the, the uh, mount, uh, mount point, uh, and uh, all these uh, gather facts will uh, store in uh, only one dictionary, a Python dictionary. This is uh, Ansible facts, uh, this is the name of uh, this, di this this dictionary. We can just uh, do some example to understand it and to uh, visualize what is gather facts. To do it, I reuse uh, our script uh, about uh, the video number twelve. Uh, I use deploy .sh, uh, dash dash create, and I want, uh, for example, uh, two server. And I use dash dash Ansible. And now I can go into the Ansible directory. Oh, sorry. I can remove Ansible directory and recreate it. Yes. So if I go here, yes. We have our new inventory with our uh, two target servers, dot two and dot seven, uh, dot three, sorry. So to test it is very, very simple. We can use uh, the setup module to display uh, all, uh, all the all uh, gather facts. So to do it, I use Ansible dash I my inventory and dash m for module to specify a module and i want to use the module setup so oh maybe ah uh, yes of course i need to add uh, the group name all here and uh, all this variable of the key of our uh, dictionary uh, are uh, gather facts. So you see very, very many uh, gather facts. For example, uh, the CPU, the version of our CPU, the number of our CPU, and uh, the, the OS family. We have a Debian, uh, which uh, package manager, APT the version of our kernel uh, with the command line to start our kernel and option and uh, what again uh, is uh, no this is not interfaces uh, yes here we have uh, the list 
of our interfaces with th0 uh, and uh, our loopback. The Ansible hostname, very important uh, fact. Uh, we will use it in many uh, tutorial in the next uh, video. Um, what again? The IP, in IPv4 for our div device. Ansible, uh, our uh, enver variable, uh, environment uh, variable, distribution, some elements, the path of uh, Ansible distribution, uh, of our distribution, DC uh, slash operating system dash release. We have many, many facts. So if you want, you can add a filter to uh, filter our uh, fact like uh, here we want only uh, all fact prefix uh, with ansible user so to do it I use uh, dash a and I specify ansible underscore user and star oh. what again oh filter sorry we need to specify the parameter and this parameter is filter equal ansible dash user and we have only uh, all gather facts with a prefix ansible dash user like here uh, what again if you want you can uh, you can use uh, or list all facts in a, a simple uh, playbook file to do it i use playbook.tml clean it and I add the name for my playbook my first playbook our target I want to target uh, the group all all group and I just run some task one task uh, get uh, get facts okay oh sorry here yeah. and uh, I use the setup module and to collect our setup uh, module we need uh, to uh, register ah no yes we first of all we use the debug module to uh, to use uh, ansible facts like here so i remove it i remove it and our first task uh, debug of facts and we use the debug module and in the debug module we use the var parameter and in the var parameter we use ansible underscore vars uh, underscore fact sorry so I run it civil dash playbook in this case dash i zero zero our inventory and I just run our playbook file so I run it and this is the same like uh, our uh, previous command with uh, the setup module we list all facts for all server. So, if you want, you can use the setup module, and um, so I can do it. I can use a setup module here. Setup. And with the setup module, we can register use a register to record the output in a new variable. For example, uh, our facts variable with a double underscore with a prefix name. Uh, we want to debug it. Uh, this is setup. 
the module, for example, to the title, and uh, we just debug um, our facts. And we use debug, and we just specify var parameter double underscore our facts. And if I run it, we see the same output of the previous uh, command line. And if you want, you can add a filter in our setup uh, module. This is like uh, in the command line. To do it, I just add here. We use a filter. This is like a da uh, dash A in uh, the previous command, like uh, here. We use setup module. Oh, sorry. We use setup module, like here. And when we use dash A, we specify the filter, like here. And Ansible dash user, for example, non filter. Oh, sorry. Ansible dash uh, underscore user, sorry. And start. Um, if we run it again, um, oh, maybe uh, filter and simple. Why? Oh, maybe the double quote. Why? I'm not sure. I run it again. No change. Ansible facts. Set up our facts, our facts. That seems good. Why that don't work? Um, debug facts. Um, no. I don't know why that doesn't work. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have a typo, typo, and our Ansible user, Ansible user, no, um, I don't know. Uh, we can uh, we can test a new example. Uh, this is very important. If you want uh, to uh, to save your time when you run uh, on Sybil, maybe if you don't use uh, gather facts, for example, if you don't use uh, interfaces or uh, on Sybil hostname or uh, the distribution of, about your operating system, you can set your gather facts uh, to no. And in this case, if, you, if we see here, the first things uh, that Ansible do, oh, we don't see it. We have a pre-task here, and Ansible collect a gather fact in this task, and that, that take uh, some time. But if you don't need uh, to use a gather fact, you can set here gather facts to no and in this case you don't collect gather facts and ansible uh, run uh, very very quickly because uh, ansible uh, don't uh, doesn't collect uh, many many variables on your target servers so for example if you do hit like here and if we just want to debug Ansible fact like in a previous version like here and if I run it again what we have we have no data in Ansible facts because in this case we have set a gather fact to no and the run is very very uh, quickly 
but we can't use we can't use uh, ansible facts for example if you want to use um, ansible host name maybe name uh, host name for example host name host oh, sorry host name and if you want to uh, see the host name with the var parameter ansible underscore host name I'm not sure uh, maybe maybe uh, ansible host name sorry uh, maybe ansible host name always uh, always oh why these are facts to know debugs hmm that depends I'm not sure you can do it because in this case oh in this case when we set these are facts to no we have a uh, collect uh, gather fact because we use uh, a fact in a debug and uh, to use it and you will need to uh, collect the gather fact okay so uh, I just want in this video to introduce you uh, the, the fact the gather fact and uh, we'll see it uh, in uh, next video in next tutorial thank you for following this uh, video and uh, i say you goodbye and i see you in the next video